When we joined the programme, we looked at the four areas that were involved in the programme and as a staff discussed what we could do um, in school that would have the biggest impact. And we looked at cooking and realised that actually we didn't have the basic equipment in order to do any cooking in school. So I used some of the funding to kit the school out with cookers, we bought everything you can imagine that the children could possibly need for cooking. We started a cooking club which was really successful, we had to run it over four half terms in the end because there were so many children that wanted to do it, we just didn't have the space. The best thing about the cooking element of the programme is that it's sustainable, so it's something that we can keep doing through the years to come. And we looked at physical activity. We felt we had a really nice playground with a lot of good equipment, lots of things to encourage children to be active. But we didn't really run a lot of sports clubs. So we held Zumba classes for parents and children after school. We ran football clubs, aerobics clubs, which was really good. We started focusing on how we were going to develop our um, growing and that's been fantastic. The kids have really enjoyed the, the outdoor education and the opportunities to just get stuck in in the sunshine now. Um, all classes have been growing lots and lots of different things. Um, that developed then into um, curriculum links through science for about healthy eating, healthy lifestyle. Well, we had turnips in our growing beds and we saw them. So we picked them and Miss Ashford chopped them and we came down into the library and we ate them and they taste really nice and I've never tried a turnip in my life. So it's really just trying new foods. The chef has been cooking them and then you feel really proud that you've helped, you've had helped grow the foods that you eat. One of the best things is having access to outside support through the volunteers. Um, we've had them in for several projects and they've been absolutely amazing. Um, and it's enabled us as a school to do a lot more than we would have done without them. Um, so I feel it's got a real great presence in school, a good impact, the children are talking about it, families are getting involved, you're constantly hearing stories of kids coming in about what they're growing at home and how, how exciting it is. I think for Forestdale, some of the projects that we've done um, involving children getting physically active have been great. We've, we've developed a putting green outside so and, and the year fives coach the other children at break time. We've also had the hooping man so we can all hula hoop and that's been um, shared with all the play workers at lunchtime so we're all hula hooping to music in some style. Uh, planting and growing's developed as well. We've got um, a good allotment which we share with a gardening club but also in each class as well. We've planted an orchard so we have cherries, plums, pears, apples. We had one plum this year but we have high hopes it's obviously developing and growing quite nicely. Um, in addition to that we started a cookery club which is very very popular and we've been uh, doing lots of parent workshops about healthy lunchbox, healthy eating. And this year we've just started our eco club, so that's very much being developed at the moment, but the children are really keen to recycle, respect, replenish, so all of that's starting to come through. There have been lots of after school groups, lunchtime groups, where older children mentoring younger children. I think that's been really beneficial for throughout the school, for the young as well as the old. Um, it's also been very beneficial to bring parents in for workshops and we encourage our parents to come in and support cookery club, gardening club, after school as volunteers. And that's been a lovely impact as well. So um, not only are the children benefiting each other, they're also taking it home and getting their parents to join in, grow plants for us, grow seeds, develop plants and bring them into the gardening club and things like that have been lovely.